My ex-boyfriend started dating my sister. How should I handle it? First off, boyfriend, ugh, grody to the max. <laughs> Do you like kiss and rub cooties on each other's stinky bods? Ugh, barf in my mouth. <laughs> my advice, let your dumb sister have that dumb dork, and while they're Frenching in your dad's geoprism, <laughs> just slingshot a, <laughs> a flaming bag of dog poo into that nasty love nest and walk away from those losers knowing you just caused maximum carnage. As if. <laughs> Thank you, Gail. That was great advice. We have another letter here. <laughs> Dear Gail, I have gophers in my lawn. How do I get rid of them? Oh, easy sleazy. <laughs> Smack those gophies in the mouth. Let them know that's your dirt, baby. And if they don't like it, gag them with a spoon. Ha ha ha. <laughs> uh, this one says, Dear Gail, my boss gave a promotion to someone else less qualified than me. Do I say something? You know what? When I'm down in the dumper, I grab a six pack of RC, pop a box of runs, and laugh my butt off at the movie Amadeus. <laughs> that wigged out piano dude kills me. The way Mozart always mad goofing, driving so <laughs> Salieri to plot the young prodigy's downfall until ultimately Salieri realizes that in destroying his mortal enemy, he's actually depriving the world of an unwritten oeuvre <laughs> of unparalleled musical genius. <laughs> Old timey people are so weird. <laughs> thank you, Gail. And thank you, Hit Point Press. Matt, back to you. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you, Hit Point Press, for allowing all of that to transpire. Oh, I'm in pain. <laughs> You see the sallow, jaundiced face of Master Trent Igathon. Looking at uh, Veth and Jester, Caleb takes a Laura staff and grinds it through phosphorus in his hand and casts Wall of Fire between them. Casts Wall of Fire between them? Yeah. Okay. Between us and Trent. Between us and Trent, damage side facing Trent. So as he looks to you and says, interesting, your first reaction is to is. create this Wall of Fire. Yeah. Well, I guess let's roll initiative, guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's not a good start. Uh, 25 to 20. <laughs> oh, yikes. Trent goes first, because he rolled pretty damn high on his uh, initiative there. And the wall <laughs> disappears. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay, 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 okay. Your things. Those, that, they were pretty. Yeah. Well, I am quite curious as to what brings you here. I don't know if we're still in uh, the order, but I throw um, firebolt at him. Oh God. Okay. As soon as the spell is, uh, the wall is down. I'm not done. That is a 17 to hit. 17 is not hit. Does not hit, okay. Jester, what are you doing? Um, I am going to reach down and, and grab Beth's shoulder and reach forward and grab the back of Caleb, and I'm just gonna try to word of recall again. My last big spell. I'd look, but I believe you. Did you, what, was that a counter spell? It was a counter spell. Counter spell to you. You have to say counter spell so I can counter spell you. Right, I'm, I'm getting to it. Oh God. Um, all right, so at what level do you counter spell? Third. Third level? Yeah. Go ahead and roll. Oh, boy. oh no, you rolled a 20. Did yeah. you roll a 20 again? He did. Of course. I rolled a natural 20. No way! What happened? I think we, bro we broke Dungeons and Dragons. It's we broke the game. Broken? <laughs> no, we have to restart Win? the game. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out and blow on it. <laughs> and Trent kind of looking over at you as this is happening goes, oh, this is extremely rude. I'm just asking some questions. This wasn't expected. And as he puts his hand up, you see this blur in the air, the the striking spear of, of unraveling arcana just jutting from his hand that's reaching towards the spell as you react and counter it with your own. As they both hit, it's like two waves of similar energy hitting and then canceling out nothing. Absence. Everything that he released fails. Good luck. You taught me well. 
the last thing you say before. Holy, holy buttholes. I feel like I've been doing calisthenics. It was actually a three, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We've been lying about the dice roll That's for wild. like years. Yeah. That's <laughs> wild. Yeah. That, legitimately, on this dice, rolled two 20s in, in a row, row oh. and, and then, then you is. rolled a 20. That That's is. fucking crazy. Yeah. I can feel the roots of my hair. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, Laura, your hair looks very bed tossed and amazing right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Over the top, as you kind of do the slow motion handstand over, <laughs> looking the, the the pointed uh, very long tops cropped. of it. Yeah. Yes. As I call them, poodle palers. Uh, the the pointed tops of. Is that what they're called? That's what my mom called them. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up. Jesus. My mom's dark. <laughs> Uh, a little bit. <laughs> your mom is dark. She's dark. Uh, I understand that half of your personality. <laughs> okay. You vanish. <laughs> How many texts? How many texts? Oh, a lot of texts. 137 oh, seconds of fun. All week, all week, all week, all week, all week. Well, that went off without a hitch. <laughs> That's exactly, we have no idea what happened in there, but from our end, <laughs> perfection. I super murdered a guy. You did? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like kind of, I don't know if I want to ever do that again. Kind of par for course. Yeah. Sometimes you need to do what you, you know you have to do. Things happen. Beth's voice, as sh she's talking to you, almost seems to echo and fade as a voice fills your mind. Oh. Nambren, that was uncalled for. See, now I'm worried. You can sit and cool off. I don't know if I'm ready to talk to you yet. Oh, okay. Um, well, we can go down if you want no, to be up uh, on the balcony. Uh, sorry, um, uh, I'll just sit here then, yeah. I guess. He, <laughs> he was talking to me, like you do. Beth, put it on. What is, oh, it's oh, oh, we stole them! Yeah, yeah this is why we did it! Point. Oh, yes! You know, I don't really like it. It no, doesn't go with my, well, I mean, it's just a little tacky. Uh, All right, fine. You do have to attune to them yeah. to be functional. Yeah, oh, yeah. No. So, you do? Yes. Half hour. I know no! Go of that ring, but I like think carefully. I I'm not attuned to it. Don't fucking say that. <laughs> You're not even here. I'm. I'm talking to Ford in my brain. <clears throat> there wasn't much in the ice box, but there's some baby carrots and hummus. <laughs> um, and yes, I had some some warm papst. <laughs> I start to absentmindedly eat a baby carrot. <laughs> um, so you guys, I um. I don't know if how much should we say out loud because Trent could be scrying on us right now. Um, spell it in baby carrots. Just sort of like. It's a long I think you thing. Well, then see write baby it in the carrots. hummus. Write it in the hummus. He could still see that. Yeah, I don't think baby carrots are immune oh, to that. Oh, tell you what. <laughs> so, you? Everyone knows you're only scrying adult carrots. <laughs> oh, I got nothing. I we'll do okay it after carrots. we can talk after, you know, an hour. <gasps> Who is it? The boogeyman? What? Okay, good, it's them. Come in. Oh. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. okay. You guys, Trent showed up. I saw him yeah. walking in. Whoa. Why didn't you tell us? Oh, you don't have yeah. message like You yeah, really should Taylor learn Benyasha. how to do that, Bo. It's super <laughs> useful. I, I can tell you how. Honestly, we were a little trigger happy. I was a little trigger happy. It's a stressful yeah. situation in a place that stresses you out, and... I killed a few people. We killed a few people. I did as well. I mean, I sort of killed a guy too, and I wasn't with you, so there's oh. that. Oh, you you killed a guy? Then? Yeah, it was real brutal. Ha, but you were up on the tower. Oh, someone was up there? Uh-huh, Did you Didn't give him the quick him. neck snap? <laughs> no. Beat me did you give him the old shove off the tower, quick death? I thought about it. A garot around the... Garot? Like gar gar I think I should out. buy one. Yeah. Did you punch him in the solar plexus and cause his heart to explode? Uh, oh, fuck, I can do that, and I didn't. No, We're, I, you know those vials of acid you gave me like a long time yeah, ago? They're, they're low-grade acid, yeah. He was kind of um, <laughs> like an open mouth snorer type of a thing, so it kind of just like. You fed him the poisons, the, the slow acid. 
Yeah, that's wow. I was like in really his that mouth. Visual wasn't gonna be you true. put the acid in his mouth. Yeah, and then you snapped his neck to like mercy kill him. I did after about sixty seconds because he wasn't dead yet. That, come on. that acid is good for like taking rust off of off of a blade after like four or five days of soaking. You poured CLR in his mouth and let him suffer. Oh, apparently good for killing guards too. A familiar voice creeps back into your mind. Oh my God, mind. this guy. Traces of dunamancy. I have my theories on where you might have learned these. Well, now we're both double dealing. Why do you run as opposed to talk? In every barrel of apples, there is one with a rotten worm in it. I am that worm. What did he say? I think he has implied he, uh, I'm a little worried for Essek. He's the most dangerous man that I think exists in the Empire, Chester. Why does the most powerful guy have to be such a shithead? Why can't he be a nice, powerful guy? Why bother being powerful if you're nice? Think of all the people you could help. Which which part are you not okay with? The Trent talking to you part? Or the killing people part? Or the endangering Essex part? Or <laughs> That's a fair question. Or the endangering my family part? Or... <laughs> Can I try, while we're resting, I want to try Divine Intervention. Oh, God, no. <laughs> 99. <laughs> yeah. God dies. <laughs> As you kind of reach out to grasp his attention, it's like, I'm sorry, it's a bit of interference at the moment. Yeah. Um, a bit predisposed, but uh, next time. You don't want to hang without us on the beach? Leave We're a message. On the beach. Oh, he's. What was he up to? <laughs> I don't know. He's predisposed. He's probably, you know. Sounds intriguing. Strangling some people. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Does he he's do that? some freaky shit. <laughs> you seem proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk just along the coast uh, away from everybody and, um. Hey. Uh. Stormlord, it's uh, it's me, Yasha, your old uh, pal. We're in a bit of a pickle. I just, I, 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 well, for starters, I, I went on a date with Bo. I don't need to tell you these things. Um, I think I need your help. I want to be able to help my friends, and I, I, I think I, I, I've given away one of my swords to this woman named Kima, but she gave me one. That seems very cool. I don't know if you have a purpose for me, but I would like to be your, I would like to be your champion. I would like to be the avatar of the Stormlord, whatever that even means. I don't know, I, I tried to communicate. Uh, you have such a different relationship, but I tried to communicate with the Stormlord. Oh, oh. And just kind of say like, hey, I'm here if you need me. Here, sit down with me, sit down. Okay. And I sit um, cross-legged in front of Yasha. Okay, okay. I sit cross-legged in front of her. I'm gonna do ceremony. Whoa. What is that? So I'm going to um, put my hands out and hold my hands in front okay. of you. And close your eyes. Okay. I've never done this before, but I, you know, I feel like this is going to work. Okay. And I'm going to say, oh, Storm Lord. Should I repeat after you? Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, Storm Lord. Yasha is here for you. Yasha is here for you, that's me. <laughs> oh God, that's your opinion. Well, like, I could be saying No, yeah, that's that. good, that's good. Yes, I am here for you. I want to be dedicated to you. I want to be dedicated to you. Make me your champion. Make me your champion. Bless me with your dedication. What did you say? Bless me with your dedication. Bless me with your dedication. <laughs> I'll bless you with mine. And I will bless you with mine. Yeah, that's good. And I'm going to send my power into her hands and cast dedication. You know, it's a, I thought it could give you that connection that maybe he'll be able to hear you and see you a little bit stronger right now. Chester, thank you so much. This is such a great way to learn. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't think I'm going to be besties with him like you are with 
Or tagging, but... You don't know. You don't who know. Who knows? I'd be up for it. He, maybe he needs a bestie. I, maybe he does. I, I think I would be a really good bestie to him if I he really think. wanted it. And he can probably hear you saying all of it now because you're dedicated. You yes, know. I. if you need just a best friend, someone to talk to, I'm here. I'm going to, in the sand, just take my finger and make like a, a little lightning bolt. I The last time I, I, I think I prayed to him, I drew a dick because uh-huh. that's what you did. And then I realized maybe I should draw his symbol. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense to you. And Yasha, just, just so you know, I'm available for other ceremonies too if you ever wanted to do any. Oh, just what like, on earth or do you mean? I don't know how everything went. We haven't talked, but I'm letting you know if it went really well and things keep going really well. I'm here for you. Thank you, Jester. <laughs> um, things went really well. <laughs> Just side note, um, uh, a very wise friend once told me that to kiss and tell would be very uncouth. So um, I'll just keep it inside. And okay. Maybe one day we'll talk about okay. it. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Jester. You kind of glance over to the side and you can see Artie's kind of sitting there, his feet in the sand as well. I lean over and I just pull his eyelid open. Hi. Do you want a coconut alcoholic beverage? Oh, Bo bought a few. Please. Bo, 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 bo. Yeah? Do you have any extra coconut drinks? I just offered one to Artagan. Yeah, I bought The Traveler, like, to the Traveler. I bought two extras to go. <laughs> you look over to where she's kind of looking towards Artagan. There's nobody there. You look back and one of your drinks is gone. Within an instant, like you glanced away, and then you look over and kind of look behind her, and you can see the green cloak billowing. You know, sun's kind of coming down in the sky, and you just see this little, <laughs> little <laughs> straw start slurping before it <laughs> disappears into the wind. There is a problem. One other person knows about him. Cree. Cree. Oh, Cree. I was talk- talking about the gentleman. Yeah, the ge- yeah. gentleman is where we were going to send them. There's one other person who knows about him. Who? Eyes of nine. All yeah. of them. Right, Cree. Yeah. Cree knows. <laughs> My brain, what just happened? <laughs> Whoa, what happened? I'm getting feedback. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Like, wow, happened. he's leaning into the role play for the low and tell. <laughs> Sleep deprivation. But you know yeah, who else knows about oh, them? Don't ever give Caduceus those coconut drinks ever again. <laughs> They're, they are liquored, aren't they? Oh, I might have accidentally um, switched up your virgin one. I'm sorry. A, can't backtrace a message spell, right? I don't know this. Not that you're aware of. Make an arcana check. You're asking the sailor? Cool. <laughs> Plus two. Natural one. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? <laughs> <laughs> I hate that I can't whisper from this distance, and I you look can forward to. Just FaceTime. Just text. Just text. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like how I FaceTimed all of you for my butt this morning? <laughs> that was amazing. Twice. Twice. Yeah. In five minutes. We jumped on to have <laughs> a conversation <laughs> with your butt, but your butt wasn't there. So He's more to, of the to, silent but deadly type. Text. <laughs> <laughs> my sapphire. I missed My sapphire. <laughs> and like the eyes shoot wide open and she just gives you a big, big hug and just pulls you in closely. I didn't know you were going to visit today. I didn't either. (laughs) Everything's not okay. You could be in danger here. I know how hard it is for you to leave, but I think you should. What have you done? I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm not angry, I just, just worry about you. Yeah, I love you. I love you too. You are growing up, aren't you? (laughs) Too fast. (laughs) (laughs) More proud than I could ever think. Look, you haven't brought danger to us. I have. Danger has been finding its way into our lives before you did any of this. But this danger I brought, it's unforgivable, and I know that you'll forgive me for it, and it's unforgivable. He just kisses you. I mean, that's pretty nice. You know, since you've gone off and met your really impressive and intimidating friends, uh, I've had a lot of time to spend with Luke, and I never thought myself as like a stay-at-home dad, but you're really good at it. I'm kind of really liking it. And you're 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 fantastic with children. You're fantastic with me. 
but it's just it's just not fair anymore so what i'd like to do very much i'd like to end the immediate threat and then i want to come home and just be with you and the boy we'll have adventures together at home wherever we decide to make our home can you hold on just a few more weeks hold on as long as you need me to i know what you're doing is important what's been an unexpected joy for me is realizing that so many years of trying to to be the man of the house i'm much better being the support of it we so all... we're awkwardly waiting outside of people's doors <laughs> oh, like being before, pretty yeah. useful <laughs> yash and i just like make out in between people walking by <laughs> like, just like ping pong down the like, right. way just making out right the uh the <laughs> yeah the horny teenager not wasting sure. any moment yeah, yeah for sure. i get it well, messing up all the picture frames. What about this weird hallway. staircase? We'll, we'll be <laughs> safe here. Staircase will be fun. <laughs> yeah, go under there. Let's try it. Yeah. It's kind of uncomfortable, but it's kind of fun. Yeah, no one's in here until after the ball team leaves. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is transpiring. The two of you have kind of carefully coasted downstairs behind Blued, kind of blending into the environment. You're looking like you're helping bust tables, which, <laughs> as you're doing that, uh, Carlos, from behind the bar, kind of glances over and goes, "Excuse me, uh, who are you?" Oh, uh, I'm I'm new. I'm new here. I'm just sort of. I'm uh, responsible for all the hires of the establishment. I have not met you before. If you are going, right, right. I need you to leave. <laughs> Just some weirdo who started busing. Yeah, <laughs> this dude just walks in and just starts cleaning tables and taking shit. Do we even fill out the application? Yeah, are you are you hiring? Um, what? Are you, Not I anymore. Am. You can't just walk into an establishment That's and start fair. pretending like you work there. Who you think you are, Steven Spielberg? <laughs> Deep cut. Deep cut. I'll, I'll just Jeff. Uh, how did I get in here? And I'll just. <laughs> Start walking the way I came from. <laughs> As you head to the stairs, he goes, ah, 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 ah. The front door? Oh, there, yeah. <laughs> Gets to turn around so easily. <clears throat> I start walking towards the exit. As you see Carlos over there going, go on. Sorry. Shoo. Yeah, uh, so, you sure? You, you don't need any extra. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you already made a bad impression, I, and I hate to have to make a scene in front of all of my customers, but this is a fine establishment. The proper so, channels, uh, all right. I, yes. I appreciate your time, thank you. <clears throat> Good day. I don't, I don't have a hat. <clears throat> <laughs> and I'll go to, the, go to the door and just sort of... <laughs> How nice outside. Look at the weather. I think I'm just nonchalantly gonna walk back upstairs. Once he walks up, and I kind of see him out of the corner of the eye, I kind of stop. Hey! Oh, his <laughs> What's up? <clears throat> What's up? We got a problem downstairs. What's wrong? Two, uh, two guys down by the front door. Weird, uh, weird guys? Yeah, they've got magic, and they are waiting for us to come downstairs. Ford is outside too. It's kind of complicated. <laughs> I'm really not sure what to do about it. He he tried to bust a table. I'm not entirely sure what happened. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of got thrown out. Was he trying he to be undercover by bussing? Or? Yeah, it was not a. It was it was a bad call. <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> kind of an establishment is the least inconspicuous thing you can do. It's the yeah. one person everyone recognizes, really. But uh, yeah, he's learning, you know, aren't yeah, we all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do we have a go word, or are we just going now? Apparently it was sarsaparilla, but I don't know if I'm waiting for that cue, because they keep separating people who can't send messages. Also, yeah, we can't send anything. I can't send shit, this keeps happening. I keep pointing it out. You wanna to count to happening. like 20 and then we go? Sure. One, two, two three, four. <laughs> I'm gonna start five. making my way down the stairs. Making Make my, my way downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding. All right. I'm gonna cast <laughs> Disguise <laughs> Self. Make a deception check, with advantage. Oh, 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 o
Okay. <laughs> that was a ride. We were just trying to convey a message to Bren. To Bren. And at this point, you recognize the voice speaking in a Dwendalian Zemnian accent, a female oh. voice. We are here to let you know in the short time we have that you need to go. How quick? Uh, where? Anywhere. Hmm. But here. If there's anyone important to you, leave with them. Trent is um, frustrated. As they begin to approach the exterior of this, you see the door open, and to the right, a familiar red-robed Trent Ikathon. Oh, shit. So you are now darting through the streets, holding onto the hands of the stragglers, kind of pushing through alleyways and darting through individuals that, you know, seem to be just watch you as you brush past their shoulders, abruptly con confused, and until eventually you work your way towards Tide Peak Tower. You can see the peak of it coming closer and closer into view. We've been playing this for years. It's make-believe. <laughs> I'm so scared. Yeah, my heart is <laughs> my, my cardiovascular like crazy. disagrees. Yeah. Me too. This is what I've worried about since the first day we set foot in Nicodranas and it is happening. Yeah. You see what looks to be a, a cylindrical, uh, silver or at least polished metal case about that long. It looks almost like a cigar, if you will. Ah, uh, this was a gift to the master from the uh, Pansophical. Is, he oh, just like oh, throws it in the ground. Oh. The glass case shatters open. The emblem scatters across the ground. And the metal thing kind of rolls and stops against some of the broken glass. And he kind of. Ah. Do you have any knowledge? You of what did this that. Is? <laughs> yes, yes, it was all me. Can you tell me anything about it, or is it up to me? Well, no, it was given to him by someone who jumped from place to place. And on the inside, you see a a piece of vellum that is wound very tightly and like a very very compact scroll of some kind. Yeah, so you do not recognize the language. Sylvan, Celestial? Nope. Deep Speech, Undercommon, Halfling, Dwarven? Nope. Thieves, Cant? Abyssal, Celestial? Or nope. Elvish, Giant, and Sylvan? Nope. Infernal? Nope. Ford? Come on! <laughs> you never learned a second language? I sit down and start working on Comprehend Languages, which will take me uh, 10 to do. As you're unrolling it still, it is very long. Like the, the text continues, and as you kind of reach this lengthy, almost like three and a half foot element, it comes to an end, something falls out of the final bit, a oh. long metal rod that ting, ping, 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 hits the ground. It has this kind of gentle, fiery, kind of reddish ember glow to it. Is it a tuning fork? As you finish your comprehend languages, mm -hmm. you read it immediately as draconic. Or a variation of Draconic, um, and it is it is a spell scroll. Yeah, it is a plane shift. Plane spell shift scroll. is what I thought. Mm -hmm. And hot. this uh, tuning fork, I think, is going to take us someplace hot, but not quite as hot as this place. So, who wants to go to hell or the plane of fire? Or I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Can it take all of us? We're the mighty yeah. ten. You and up to eight willing creatures. Oh. oh. Well. The, the windows generally can be shifted by the master, but he's not oh, here. No. But there are windows you can look through. You can have a spoon that you can look into and see outside on a rotating 180 degree axis. That's a really cool item. That is a really cool oh, item. I, I, I don't, but, but I'll ask the master when we'll he comes back. I have a okay. terrible idea. We can, hide, we can hide them in the one place we know they won't be able to find them. In the ball? Oh. Just for a little while. <laughs> Wait, do this. <laughs> Wait, what if some of us went in the ball and then we could carry it as an object through this plane shifting thing? <laughs> That's not actually. How, both we, of those how are good ideas. Out, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember how to get out of the ball. <laughs> I'll go to one of the windows. Okay. Sorry. Okay. The tuning fork. Ditto. <laughs> Is that a nervous That's hand? That's I do when I get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone goes in the okay. ball, it has to be the most well rested individuals. It's also you can get out safely. It's it's. But that's designed. also bananas because you might need the most well-rested people to defend in whatever yeah, plane no, this is. Like mm. unless a golem comes and kills kills you in the ball. Well, I can't go <laughs> Man, in the this ball. Is a pickle. I can't go. <laughs> all right, all right. A golem go in the ball. Oh, this is such a bad idea. I mean, we just need to move now. This whole day. I Wait, who, is uh, who, 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 who else going in the ball? You're going in the ball. If you go in the if you go in the ball, you get dropped in the study. There's one room. It's just the dragon exit. That's it. That's it's the just way up. One room. 
There's you one just have to out. remember which one goes to the drag. Here, take the map. Who's going in? I've got the map. Are you going in? Where are you going? I'll go in with Bo. All right. Oh, you guys are just gonna oh. fucking make out, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, obviously, but <laughs> it's fine. Or are you, okay? you need at least one magic person to charge those glyphs in the dragon exit room. That's not me. Oh. You hear? Excuse me. I'm sorry. You have to go. I'm you can't come in here. You. <laughs> Just us. Bye. Us three. Us yep. three. Yes. Okay. All right. The okay, ball. So oh, yeah. I will use the scroll instantaneously to open the gate. Okay. It is a six second casting time. Okay. The light brightens up and you, there is a sudden flash, and everyone who is in the proximity of Ford who had chosen to go into the sphere are gone, and the ball just kind of ting, 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 I run onto over the ground. Grab the ball. I'm holding onto the ball. And you are currently going through the scroll. Yes. Reading and reading it. As you're reading it, the fork is heating up and heating up and heating up. And as you go to complete the spell, the door entryway kind of opens up, and you see they're kind of darting in. You see Astrid. You 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 know the 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 presence here. This this is this is the the at the ready for a counter spell. Hmm. You finish reading. The rod begins to glow brightly, and all of you feel yourselves being pulled from this reality as her hand goes limp. Oh, she let us go. Again. It's like Rolf in Sound of Music. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a fun cutting point. I'll go ahead and end it there for tonight. Oh, where are we? Where? <laughs> My bowels. I know my back oh, man. is hurting from is clenching. We ran our butts <laughs> off today. Yeah, this oh, was a, this so was tense a, from this start was to finish. This was high octane. Who went into the happy fun ball? Bo Yasha. Bo, Bo Ford. Yasha Ford. It's that fish date. You got it. Yeah, yeah. And then everyone else True. traveled to wherever <laughs> it seems that Rod is attuned to. <laughs> Alrighty. Wow. <laughs>